Individual insights that are formed during the process of work, are they also an influence of an egregor or not? After all, I worked on myself and invested the time. And another question of similar nature came from Anastasia. What should one do if 90% of the goals are coming from a source that is not associated with people but rather with the visions and dreams, as it was mentioned earlier? Colleagues, I hate to break it to you, but nonetheless, I have to. Look. The fact is that human consciousness is created in such a way that it cannot come up with an original idea on its own. It can only read information, compile it all together so that a new form, a new type of idea, a new imagery would appear as a result. A human simply lacks the option to get an idea and create it from scratch. When we perceive information from somewhere, we always read it off exactly from the location where it exists, that is, from a particular source. We improve ourselves in order to be able to perceive the information from the atomic realm. But the atomic realm is not something undefined, but a conglomerate of the consciousnesses of all gods, their thoughts to be precise. The human thoughts and words reside in the mental plane, while gods, they have the Atman. And we are trying to evolve our consciousness to the degree that will help us avoid taking information from the mental plane, the goal-setting field, or from the buddhic plane, where the Gregorial world tries to convince us that it will give us the correct information packed up into a ready-to-go ideology. Instead, we try to take it directly from the Atman, take the raw thought forms of the gods. Thus, as if becoming an egregor in relation to these thoughts. I repeat, in relation to these thoughts, not in general, not in terms of functionality in this world. Although it would be possible to become so in terms of functionality, but this would rather be a form, a consequence of such ability. Therefore, we shouldn't dwell in illusions and understand that we are not as independent and free as we would like in the realm of our visions and dreams, as well as the realm of our own conclusions. Another thing is that the one who possesses a reasonable consciousness, a magical consciousness, or who develops his consciousness in a magical key, first of all, without any illusions, understands that he receives information from a foreign source rather than from his own, and must also clearly understand from what source does he take the information from, what did he take from the egregor, what did he take from the mental plane, and what was obtained through the direct contact with his own God and how it could be combined in a way for that God's idea to take the right form, the correct form, and not the way it usually happens. Therefore, if you keep this in mind, lots of your confusions in regards to yourself and to what you are now hearing from me will dissipate, and everything will make sense.